Welcome to the extended stay that I've been living in for the past few months. Um, today I am going to be doing a video that I wanted to do back in like January, but you know, things have been moving slowly this year. And so I still wanted to make this video um, as well as the accompanying blog post um, about my resolutions for this year. If you want more information about that, check out the blog post in the link down below. Today, I'm going to be reacting to, um, the video I made creating my 2020 vision board. Um, as you can probably guess, a lot of things have changed since then. I've lived in several different apartments in the, since this video. Um, and like a worldwide pandemic may have happened, so that's a thing. I definitely like just looking at the video image where I've paused it already. Um, I feel like that's a completely different human from the human that I am today. So I'm not going to be reacting to the full video because the first half of the video was reflecting on the decade. Um, I'm just going to be reacting to the half where I actually talk about my goals for 2020. So if you want to see the first half of that video, go ahead and check it out and I will link it down below as well. And without further ado, just a heads up, one last thing before we jump in. Um, Bryce is directly behind me. I'm going to show him. Boop, 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 boop. There he is. He may chime in if he feels so inclined. He may not. But just so you know, that's, that's where the Bryce is. So anyways, now, without further ado, let's jump into reacting to this video. So now we're just looking forward to 2020 and, and looking forward to all the things that I can do um, to continue to grow my channel and, and grow as a person. Um, I think I'm going to mess with the pink a little bit more. <laughs> Real quick, I just want to talk about how much my hair has grown since this video. It's literally like a little over, okay, we're like in April now, so not exactly a year, like a year and a fourth of the year or however math works but look at how much longer my hair is compared to this video <laughs> anyways jumping back in and we're back so I'm just gonna finish up this was I think I showed you this in the other video but also I washed my hair today so you get a good look at the new do it wasn't at all what I wanted but this is what we got. Yeah, so this is a better image of, of, I haven't gotten a single haircut since then. Granted, this is not freshly washed hair. This is like a couple days not washed hair, but it's crazy how much it grew in like not that much time. Anyway. So, and this is the finish, just in case I didn't show you in the last video. So essentially what I'm gonna do is I have all these little also, just remind me to never cut my hair short because I, it looks fine, but I don't feel like myself when I have short hair. But every now and then I'm just like done with this, but I feel most like me. I'm definitely not going to be cutting it for a while because I'm engaged now and I want it to be super long and flowy like a beautiful princess lady for my wedding. So, yeah, anyways pictures um cut out that each represent something that i'm trying to manifest in 2020 and we're going to glue them to our cute little tie-dye board that i made um and while i do that i'm going to talk about my goals for 2020. okay all of these images except for one of them i think came from just random places on pinterest so don't sue me. <laughs> yes, I'm sure one of the 18 people that have seen this video are going to sue you. Okay, I think I kind of like this little layout that I got going on here. Um, I'd show you, but my you're on a stand right now and it's a very delicate situation. Also, I don't know if I like this angle. I think I like that better. Okay. All right. 
I remember I was so annoyed looking back at this footage because I guess like for some reason anytime I hit the table or whatever um, that this was sitting on like the entire system oh I'm on 15% battery I should probably do something about that anyways the table would like wobble and it like kept wobbling my shot and there's a poster in the background that I didn't really want to have in my video but no one really noticed so it's okay comment down below if you know what that poster is of anyway continue so let's get started first things first I need to open my glue so as I mentioned my hair was not at all what I asked for um but I mean it worked out I, I don't hate it um, but that, as I kind of mentioned in my last post, has kind of just been how 2020 has been going so far. Also, another complaint that I have is that she put thinning shears to my hair without, like, consulting me first. She just started doing it. And, like, my hair, I don't like my hair, essentially, when you, when it's thinned. So, anyways, because it does this. It's freaking frizzy. Anyway enough ranting about my hair this is about 2020 be a little bit lighter with that make things just keep not going as expected girl you have no idea this was january 17th and i'm already saying things haven't gone according to plan girl you have absolutely no idea Ain't that right, Bryce? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're charging. I just had a moment where I was like, wait, did I press play? I pressed play, we're good. All right, continuing. So some of these you will have seen in my, um, I need something to drink. I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> Don't roast me for this. I have a plastic. Um, I also think it, it's funny because I was definitely not medicated when I was filming this video and now I'm medicated and I feel like I can definitely tell. Thank you, Vivance and Zoloff. Shout out to you. You're the realist. <laughs> Don't roast me for this. I have a plastic water bottle, but I've been reusing and refilling it because I was in a situation and I needed a water bottle, so I got this. Girl, we definitely leveled up. This is an old water bottle I've had forever, um, but I literally have used it every day for like a while now. I don't know how long. Can you hear the people above us? Moving the chair around. But anyways, and I have all these fun stickers. Anyways, moving on. And I've been reusing it, so this is like tap water for my house that we just filtered through the Brita filter. I'm not being mean to the planet, okay? <laughs> just a disclaimer there. Mm. All drinking water okay. with my former self. So these things are things that you would have seen in my 2019 resolutions. Um, and some of them are just a couple other things that like I was already planning to do or that are just important to me. So first things first, this image, and I made sure to keep the little artist signature down at the bottom. Um, and it's just a really like, it's supposed to be like the tree of life, but I don't want that know what that means. So I'm not endorsing it if it's some sort of like religious thing. I just thought this was a really pretty image that reflected my theme for this year, which is growth. So that's, I still don't know what it means, but that is a cool painting. That's why I have that um, and I'm going to kind of put that in the center under where I have like the little year lined out and we're just trucking right along here. I already have glue on myself. So this image is Big Bend um, and we're, this is one of the places Bryce and I are planning on traveling, traveling this year. Um, it we're planning on going to this for our anniversary trip so 
I don't know if you've seen my Big Ben vlog, but if you haven't, check it out down below. But yes, we absolutely did. We went to Big Ben and it was awesome and I loved it and um, we had a great time. So that's one of the things that was on my vision board that I accomplished. Yay! We're starting out strong. Not all of these are going to be that strong. So anyways, moving along. I'm just gonna glue that on there. So obviously this falls under the travel portion of my New Year's resolutions. I'm also like not very good at like gluing things on straight, so I don't really have high high hopes for that. But we're just gonna keep on trucking. Okay. So this. I can't remember whose Instagram I got this off of, so I'll put it up on the screen. But essentially this is to kind of, um, this is a girl I follow on Instagram who does yoga. And it's to kind of represent like my desire to heal my relationship with music this year. Um, or music. <laughs> movement this year. Heal my relationship with movement. Um. Uh, and it's always just really inspiring for me to see plus size folks doing like cool yoga poses because um, it gives it inspires me to get moving my body without having to center it around trying to change the way that my body looks so she yeah absolutely um i don't think i made as much progress as i wanted to um with that um, but I also definitely am in a much better place, um, with my body and movement and all of that than I was, um, when I filmed this video. Um, a lot of what helped is when I was in quarantine for a month, um, I went on a lot of walks. I really, like, embraced the healing way that, like, taking walks in nature, um, has benefited both my mental health and just um feeling more in tune with my body um I, every now and then i've tried like some yoga i've done like youtube dance videos every now and then um and freaking on new year's day this year i climbed a freaking mountain and that was awesome um, and I'm just like super strong and powerful and I think that that's cool. Another thing, I don't know if I said it yet, but I also went to a chiropractor for a little while. I need to make a new appointment, but, um, it was like a chi chiropractor and physical therapy. Um, and I feel like I really learned a lot about my body through that and movement through that. And so that's something, that's something I'm definitely still working on in 2021, but I think it was definitely something that was a priority for me in 2020. Um, and I wouldn't say that like, it was something I absolutely didn't achieve, but I don't, I don't really think I had a clear idea in my mind of what that meant. Um, when I posted this video and now I feel like I definitely have a clear idea of some of the ways that I can, um, prioritize these things. So anyways, has made the vision board. Nope. This, um, I had a really hard time finding an image that I felt like, sorry, I'm covering my face so that it focuses, um, that really, like, represented my vlogging goals. Um, obviously, if you've read my post, you know it's my goal to get to a thousand subscribers so that I can start monetizing this. Um, so this is to kind of represent that. I don't film with an actual camera though, I just film with my phone camera. Um, and that seems to be working out for me. I don't plan on getting a camera for a while. Anyways, yeah, so still using my phone to film all my videos. Um, but i obviously didn't post as much as i wanted to in 2020 um but there was a literal pandemic but i also feel like i got a lot clearer about what i want the channel to be this year um and the most important thing to me isn't making the channel my income like the mo like 
like making the career and the money and all of that isn't the focus for me and trying to get subscribers. I mean, we just hit 50 subscribers. Hey y'all, hi my 50 subscribers. I love you. <laughs> I love you little babies. <laughs> it's mostly just uh, friends and family, but I appreciate all of your support, no matter who you are. Um, but that's, I've really realigned with what's important to me and I think what I, want this channel to be is like a way to document my journey with mental health and body positivity as well as to um create i like creating like the more educational style content um rather than just random stuff and and helping people understand body positivity and spirituality maybe we'll get more into that later um and uh and mental health and stuff and just trying to be open and honest and vulnerable so that people don't feel like they're alone um and I hope that some people can see their story and my story and I think that's the most important part of the channel I also just want to like have fun and be creative and and this is a really great creative outlet for me um and I like being able to share parts of my life with my family and friends that they wouldn't normally see if I wasn't making videos and getting to kind of document and look back on like all of the travel that Bryce and I do and and all of those happy memories and so um yeah I think that's my focus for the channel now um and my sort of goal for the channel now I don't really want the things that were my goal for the channel then anymore so even though i didn't achieve it i feel like i got so much more so yeah so that is to represent that goal to just keep on vlogging and um working towards that goal do, 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 do. okay so i have no idea where this picture is but i just thought it was pretty um, and I think I actually got this one off of Google, maybe. I don't know. But it's just a picture of a sunrise to represent my desire to wake up earlier. Um, and my reasoning for doing that is I feel like I have a more productive day whenever I take some time for myself in the mornings. So that is that. So that is something I did not accomplish in 2020. Um, but I like just recently in the past couple months have completely revamped my morning routine and have been able to have like a morning routine to make the time for myself that I was craving here. And I feel like I did a lot of manifestation towards that that came to fruition at the beginning of this year, which is really cool. Um, but also Vivance and Zoloft again. Uh, I feel like I, I I was on Vivance for most of 20, or no, maybe only like half of 20. I don't remember when I got on Vivance. Um, but what really kicked it in was the combination of the Vivance and the antidepressants. At that point is when I was able to get out of bed in the morning. Um, and I also have a very like a uh, structured way that I I make myself get up I can share that more about that if you want but that's not what this video is about so I think it's interesting that even though it didn't happen for me in 2020 I know it's a big focus of my 2020 I feel like I'm talking really fast I'm sorry we're gonna slow down it was a big focus of my 2020 and now I feel like it's just a natural part of my life for 2021 so Anyway, sorry I talk fast. We can blame the Vivans, except it's definitely worn off by now. So. Also, I one other thing. I also have found out that I can't wake up too early because I have to wake up with Vivans, number one. And if I take it too early in the morning, it's worn off before I need it. So, seven. Um, I take it at seven every morning. And then I'm like out of bed by 7.30. But anyways, not the point of this video. Continuing on. Okay, this one is um, one that's not on the 2019 resolutions list, but I just want to be kinder to the planet. Um, focus. 
focus. I have no idea who this, whose image this is. I just got it off of Pinterest. Um, but um, our planet is dying and Australia is on fire. And I'm really concerned about that. Not just because like Australian people, but koalas are my second favorite animal. And if they go extinct, like what's the point of living anymore? So <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, kind of not kidding. The world is not worth living if koalas aren't here. Um, but I also feel like some, that's something I've come really far in. Like in that video, I have a plastic water bottle and now I have this that I carry with me all of the time. Um, I went through a big phase where I like bought a bunch of like the stereotypical sustainability stuff. Um, and I feel like I've kind of done, gone down with that. Um, but I think one of the biggest changes that I made in 2020 was I started buying most of my clothes secondhand, um, which is kind of cool. Like I, I used to spend a lot of money at Torrid and now I just buy Torrid secondhand. Um, and that's pretty cool. Like most of my wardrobe is secondhand. That's pretty exciting. This this shirt is sec this uh, red shirt is secondhand. This is kind of secondhand because it was Bryce's and then I took it. So I am the secondhand. <laughs> I am the secondhand. <laughs> um, but um, I feel like there's little things that I can do to just be a more conscientious consumer that'll help the planet um, as best as I can. So for example, like. Um, and this kind of ties into another one of my goals, I like spending less goals, um, is to get secondhand clothing instead of shopping from fast, fa fast fashion sites like um, Torrid, which I really love Torrid and I really love their clothes, but I know that they're probably not the most sustainable brand. So, um, Kind of moving away from purchasing a lot directly from them and trying to buy Torrid clothes from secondhand shops like Poshmark or ThreadUp. Link to my Poshmark down below. Please buy my clothes so that I can buy more secondhand Torrid to feed my shopping addiction. Which I haven't really been that impressed with ThreadUp's selection, um, but I've been pretty pleasantly surprised by Poshmarks and I also have a Poshmark so if you're looking for clothes um, go check that out I'll link it down below um, so I'm gonna kind of do three images at once and kind of explain what they mean to me so and then I'm gonna have to figure out where they went on here so this is to represent the spirituality um goal this year to kind of reconnect with my spirituality um i'm first and foremost a christian but i do also believe in astrology and like the power of meditation so that's why i have these images as well um and if you're interested in hearing more about that let me know but i'm not going to go into too much detail because everyone sort of believes their own thing um and I'm not here to debate that. I'm just here to say that, that spirituality is important to me. Um, and I want to spend more time doing that. It's been and I did. Wow, I thought I was going to like totally fail at all of these. But I feel like um, spirituality was a big part of my 2020. And I've come a long way with like my meditation practice and and my spiritual journey jur spiritual journey journal <laughs> spiritual journaling practice journaling. S spiritual journaling practice yeah. <laughs> what you writing on my journal I write my thoughts in it every day but it's a really big part of my life and i can't shut up about it um, and so I'm probably going to end up making videos about it at some point. Um, I don't really know, but like astrology and, um, also just like deepening my understanding of Christianity, which is the root of all of my beliefs and spending time with God. Um, and I think that a lot of the ways that I thought I would deepen that, um, relationship with God were not the ways that it happened for me, but I don't think that the way 
matters. <laughs> I think that what is important is that I'm spending time with God and learning about Him and, and learning about um, just trying to connect with the universe and all that good hippy dippy bullshit. So anyways, continue. Spending more time with God this year. So yeah. Also, I just really, really liked this picture because I feel like it shows worship. I don't know. I just like the feeling that I can see on her face is the feeling that I feel whenever I'm worshiping. So I really liked that about it. Cut off that one. Yeah, I really like the intersection of like meditation and like praise and worship in like a Christian setting. Um, I really like to go into like a meditative state whenever, God, I'm such, I'm insufferable. Anyway, I like to go into like a meditative state whenever, um, we're doing praise and worship and like one really weird thing that I started doing in high school actually. And now I can't stop because like, I can't, I cannot physically get into like a worship service unless I do this. Um, but I always take off my shoes so that I can feel grounded and connected. But it also came from um, when Moses saw the burning bush and he took off his shoes or God told him to take off his shoes because he's walking on, on God's ground. That's why I started doing it. Um, and now I can't stop. And every time there's like a worship band and I'm feeling it, I take my shoes off and I go into like a meditative state and everyone's uncomfortable, but I do it anyway. So <laughs> yeah. That may have been TMI, but that's that's just me. That's that's how it be. We're learning, we're progressing, we're growing. It's all good. 2020, baby. Year of growth. Oh, I didn't even show you this image. Maybe this is to represent my goal for saving more money. My goal is to save 20% of my income this year. Do, 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 do. So I can say that 20% of my income ended up in a savings account at some point this year. Whether or not it stayed there, it didn't. <laughs> uh, like I mentioned, I'm a little bit of a shopaholic, but also there's just been a lot going on and uh, I'm just gonna blame it on the pandemic even though like my job wasn't really affected um, but yeah saving goals did not happen so far this year I'm doing a lot better I just have to pretend that my savings account doesn't exist maybe I should have Bryce change the password and not tell me what it is and then I won't touch it but I think that might be a good idea what do you think about that Mm, whatever you think. I don't know. We'll see. And I have yet to receive a paycheck this year, so I cannot report how that um, goal is going, but my bank account feels very empty because the payday was early because of the holiday, and then um, I don't get paid again until Wednesday. Anyway, I don't know when you're seeing this, but anyways... And then you won't get any of your bonuses or raises that you would have normally got if there wasn't a pandini. That's my life right now. <laughs> but we'll get there. I really like how this is turning out. Okay. This is another travel goal for this year. This is a picture of a beach that came up when I searched South Carolina. So Bryce and I are planning on traveling to South Carolina over the summer to visit our friend Andy, who recently moved there. Um, we're very upset about him moving there. He's gotten quite the earful. Um, but I think that'll be really exciting. We're planning on taking a plane and Bryce has never ridden in a plane before. So that will be exciting. Yeah, that one didn't happen. Thank you, Panini Press, for making traveling very minimal this year. Um, pandemic, it's, you know how like, some people call like, Bumblebee, Cooper Snatch, 
like they'll call him like Barnaby Cumber Cumberbatch. Oh, dang it, that was the name. I messed it up. You know what I mean. It's a thing the youths are doing. I'm old. Yeah, you're old. <laughs> Bryce turned 30 in 2020. Shout out to Bryce being 30. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, South Carolina didn't happen. Bryce has still never been on a plane. He'll eventually have to get on a plane because he has to go to Bermuda at some point. Um, but things with that are still a little uncertain. Um, but thankfully we were able to go to Big Bend. Um, did we do any other traveling besides Big Bend last year and the, um, Enchanted Rock? Um. Yeah, I think that was it. So you've seen all the traveling that we did in 2020. But yeah. And apparently there is a lot of fun stuff to do out there in South Carolina. There's a restaurant in Charleston that has a ghost dog and I want to be the ghost dog's friend. That is all. Okay, and so this one, we are, it was one that was not in my New Year's resolutions, but that's going on the board, is we are planning on getting a dog. So I found this because I thought it was funny. Um, beware of dog. He is sarcastic. I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying. There we go. Beware of the dog. He is sarcastic. <laughs> so we did it. We got a dog and he's so great. We love him very much. I'm going to insert a clip of him on his gotcha day. The, that we filmed we got him a snow cone and he was so happy and we played in the park and we loved it so much okay boys are you ready happy gotcha day to you happy gotcha day to you happy gotcha day dear dibbles happy gotcha day to you there you go Eat your little puppy snow cone. <laughs> the tree now. <laughs> Max, you have a whole snow cone over here. Okay. Dibbles is gonna eat your whipped cream. Max don't want it. I'm gonna add the video below of when we got him. He's so great. He's everything that we wanted. I miss him because he's not in the extended stay, but um, he's staying with my mama and he's very happy. He has a yard there and we go and visit him basically every other weekend. Um, and I miss him so much. He's so great. He's my phone background. I was gonna grab my phone and show you, but I'm literally filming on my phone. Anyway, shout out to Dibbles and another Thing that we actually did last year. Uh, this is going a lot better than I anticipated. Okay, so um, I don't really know what kind of dog because we are gonna go the rescue route and it's really just gonna depend on like who ends up being a good fit, you know? Personality, I think, is gonna be a big deal for us. Do, 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 do. So yeah, but I think we're gonna wait till after we move. Which, by the way, we are moving out of this apartment, but we don't know when or where. Well, we kind of know when because um, we have to put in our 60-day notice tomorrow, and then it'll be 60 days after that. But, um, but we don't know where we'll be going after that. So, I don't know. We'll keep y'all updated. Anyways, this... It's just a cool picture of some books um, because one of my goals for 2019 is to read at least one book every month. Right now I'm trying to read three books before March 3rd because I could win a gift card from Amazon if I do that. So um, I'm going to try to do that. I don't remember. I think I did get the gift card. 
anyways, um, I freaking surpassed that goal. I read 25 books last year. I like more than doubled it. My goal going forward is to read as many books as the age that I'm turning that year. So this year my goal is 26 and then um, it'll just keep going from there. But I'm still trying to get through the freaking Sherlock Holmes series. It's just, I really enjoy it. Um, it's just, there's a lot of stories. And so like, you kind of get used to the characters. I have to take breaks in between and like read a self-help book or a spirituality book or something. Um, but I do really enjoy it. And so far, Hound of Baskervilles has been my all-time favorite of the Sherlock Holmes. But I still have like three collections to finish. It's in, it's insane. Like I finally got the total hours left to read on, cause I read on Audible. I finally got it under 24 hours and that was like a huge deal because there's a total of 60 hours of content. Anyway, moving forward. So update on Sherlock Holmes. I have finally finished the entirety of the Sherlock Holmes stories. It was very bittersweet to end, but I'm really proud of myself for powering through. And now I am continuing on my other reading journeys. So yeah. But that will keep me on track for my one, at least one, one book a month goal. Oh, and I didn't even realize, realize I did this, but I did my wake up earlier and my get more sleep on like either sides directly from each other. That's kind of cool. Bloop, bloop, bloop. This is my, I thought this was really beautiful. It was like a night sky scene. Um, I don't know who painted this. I just found it on Pinterest, but, um, I thought it was really beautiful. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hold on. My Postmates here. And back. Um, my lighting died cause I accidentally left it on while I went to go eat chicken. So we have my lamp going. So there's probably lighting change. It probably looks a little bit different, but we're almost done here. So we're just going to work with what we got. So to finish up, like I mentioned, this is um, to represent getting more sleep this year. I'm going to go ahead and glue that puppy on. I don't really remember what my sleep was like last year. I also... I still struggle with going to bed at a reasonable hour, but I feel like it's in the process of getting better. But, you know, just being a freaking human is hard sometimes, so. All right, and last but not, oh wait, not, not last but not least, we still have two more, okay. So this one is to represent the blogging, because I spend a lot of time at my laptop typing stuff. Um, I had really trouble finding a picture to represent that one as well as the vlogging one, but I think this one does it justice. And then last- Yeah, so basically for that one, just copy and paste everything that I said about the YouTube channel. Same thing goes with the blog. Um, I'm really kind of making them one and the same. I'm trying to post- blog posts that align with the videos that I'm posting. That's something I've kind of started doing here recently. And a lot of times if I don't write like a specific post relating to the video, I'll take a relevant journal entry and just enter that over there. So I've been doing a lot more writing lately. Just not all of it is for the blog or for being published. Um, but I'm planning on, on doing a lot more of that in the, in the coming months. Oh, yeah. But not least, I have this picture. Unfortunately, I can't tell you what this picture means yet. Um, if you're a friend or a family member, you already know what this picture represents, but I'm not ready to say it on my channel yet. But you will know in due time. But it is going on the vision board. Last one. Having a good time. And that. Yeah, so, um... I've kind of been alluding to this for a while, 
And I'm sure you might have guessed because every time I upload a video, I live somewhere different. Um, uh, most of the people that are going to watch this are my friends and family. So I will let you know um, that Bryce and I are trying to move down to spring. And that is what that video or that picture represented. Um, basically, we're just waiting till I get a new job so that we can move down there. Um, but we're gonna live with my mom for a little while and um, save up some money and uh, spring is my hometown so that is what we're still working on manifesting and we're still working on the job situation um, but yeah I don't really want to like hide it anymore because it's a big part of my life right now and why I live in a hotel <laughs> and why I don't have my dog um, and a big part of my channel is being authentic and I think while like privacy and boundaries of course are always going to be important to me, I'm a freaking Scorpio, um, I, I think I'm comfortable with sharing this now. Um, I'm just in a more open place about it. So anyways, I got a job. Since filming this video, I've officially gotten a new job that I will be starting next month. Um, and Bryce and I are going to be moving down to um, Houston at the end of this month. So we're very, very excited. Is our vision board. Our vision board. 2020. I'm going to keep some thumbnails. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I can't see, I can't wait to see what kind of content we come out with in the new year. All right, so that was our 2020 vision board reaction video. I hope you enjoyed this little look back. Um, it's so crazy to think about like how far I feel like I've come in such a short amount of time. Um, and you know, I actually completed a lot more of my goals for this for 2020 than I thought that I did, and um, that makes me feel a lot hopeful, a lot more hopeful for my 2021 goals. We still have a long way to go. We still have a lot of stuff we're dreaming and manifesting, and I don't think I'll ever be the kind of person that stops dreaming or trying to find the next adventure or any of that. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too long and strenuous. Um, if you liked this, please let me know in the comments. Give it a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!